Hi, Mark Savage here, and welcome to my channel. You join me now riding the very smooth V4 SC1300 or Honda Pan European. This one. So, here we have an ST1100 Pan European. This is the guy I keep talking about, who knows a lot about the ST1300 and its problems. However, it's where she came from. Upgrades. Boxes. Rear box. Compared to... Yeah, they definitely put a bit more styling into these boxes. Mine's got lip spoil, admittedly. But they, uh, they did, didn't they? Backlight, and they've drooped mine down a bit. Good old exhausts. Did make them nicer, didn't they? There's the dash of the ST11. I mean, you know, it's 2002. Wow, what an upgrade. Radio, enough. What an upgrade, really. All round, a nice upgraded bike. Electric heart adjustable screen. And that one isn't, unfortunately, but still. You can see where they came from, can't you? Pockets, closed pocket, receipt still. Haven't got the specs on the brake horsepower and so on, but still, yeah, at least you know where it came from. And he loves this one. I said he got a 2002, the latest old shape model he could buy. Does rather blow it away, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, there you go. New, old, new and nice, old and well, old and nice maybe. <laughs> I'm hoping it doesn't look out his window. Could have come down and slap me. Or tell the wife to slap me one or the other. And this has got a few miles on the clock. 74,000 miles on the clock. Then they are mile munchers, you know, they did it right, didn't they? Ain't broke, don't fix it. Ain't broke, make it better. Except for the wobble. I didn't feel any wobble. I didn't do 100 miles an hour though. Here we go, quick elude. Whatever an elude is. She's a pretty girl. She is a 2003 on a 53 plate. Every extra known to man, including this radio, which I've not got on this time at present minute. I've never seen one with a radio, although it was obviously a optional extra, which not many people purchased. And I'm guessing because it was probably a stonking amount of money. Now, what's the first thing you notice about this bike? The weight. Seems odd. I've just got off a Triumph Trophy, and that seemed very tall and very plasticky. This feels very, very low down heavy. I'm 5'8", both my feet are firmly flat on the floor, which feels really good. Stability wise, just then I'm only doing like 10 miles an hour, she feels very, very stable. Not weaving, who are a regular watcher, you know I've had the GS1200, which at low speed was horrible, for me anyway. Too tall, but used to weave, you'd feel the whole engine weaving. This doesn't, it feels very planted on the road. Now to catch up on the part that these have a weave problem at speed. I've got some facts. The police officer who died, unfortunately, on one of these, I believe 120 odd miles an hour, and he crashed. I'm informed by a person who used to ride these a lot at the time as well, paramedic, that Honda then got hold of that bike, they rebuilt it, and they put one of their test guys on it. And at the same speed, guess what happened to him? <laughs> he come off. And he broke his shoulder and his arm. So, there was a problem, and it seems to be the framework. Now, not getting too deep into density of metals and the honeycomb and so on, it seemed as though that they resonate at whatever speed and it caused a wobble. So, what they did to the... Hello, nice old bike. What they did to the paramedic service, because they still wanted them, is they said, well, you can have them, but here's four things you must do. One, they deactivated the electric screen. As I said, they deactivated the electric screen. So, you couldn't ride this way like this, because it caused a vortex. Now, we all know about that, because 
if you've had a uh, GTR 1400 or the Triumph Trophy, you'll know that when you put the screen right up, you seem to get a push the back of your head. It seems to push you forward. Well, they said none of that. The next thing they had to agree to was they wouldn't fill the tank up. And like I said, 29 litre tank, 28 some say, they can only half fill it. Hmm, odd request. The next thing was they could not put more than 10 kilos in the boot. Hence it does say on there, 9 kilos in the back box. They couldn't do that. And the last thing, they shouldn't go over 80 miles an hour. So it seemed odd really. They had all them caveats or requests or they were unhappy you having it. Oh, I hate filling up with fuel. Brakes on this. Uh, yeah, I've got to get used to them. Where's the cars? Where's the cars? Where's the cars? Where's the cars? No cars. Yes, so that was the four things they put in place for the ambulance service to continue riding them. Now, we all know that we watched the police over the years. In 2005, I know that they started using the BMW RTs. I've seen some use GTR 1400s as well, so they seem to stop using them. Now, the co-worker has got the ST1100, and he loves it. He bought one on the 2002, so this is a 2003, but on the 52 plate, this is an 02 plate. And he loves his ST. Now, I suppose you've got to look at this. They've got a bit of a wobble, so they say, at high speed. But there's loads of them on the road. And if you go by when you look at a second-hand one, and let's just say I look at second-hand bikes, and the FJs this sort of year have got 30,000, GTRs have got, well, about 14,000, actually. Quite low mileage GTRs seem to be, 1,400 Kawasaki's. You look at these, though, and they've got 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and it goes up. So that shows that they are mile munchers, they do very well at what they do, and a lot of people are used to what they say they're going to do. Now, the guy I bought this off of used beeswax on it, so you can imagine what my textiles are doing now on this ruddy seat. I am going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I hate him. I hate him with a passion. And I'm a little worried about the wheels, Just, but I didn't see any uh, wax on the wheels. Now, opening her up. There's 70 mile an hour really, really quickly. Oh yeah, I wasn't even top gear then. That feels so smooth. I can barely hear the engine. I like the old inline fours. I don't normally like the V fours, but do you know, wow, well, this is so smooth. Let's keep that speed down. I don't even notice I'm doing that. I can hardly hear the engine. You know my mind about the old Triumph Trophy. I mean, you can hear the engine really badly. I had the radio on just to hide it. This is so smooth. Feel very planted on the road. Um, nice and low, not extra high if that makes sense. Let's see what this roundabout comes up like. Lower down a little bit of speed. There's no drag as it were, you know? I don't feel like I'm being pulled back or losing speed. Having to brake a little bit, and here goes a bend here. Van stay there, thank you. A little bit of bank in there, a little bit of a knee out. And let's open her up. The power delivery is just so smooth. And again, you know, she wants to go there. Sixth gear, try and keep the speed down on this one. You know, normally you've got big old girls like this, they, uh, they drag a little bit, you know, you feel it. But this is just cutting through very, very nicely. I'm not feeling nothing on my face. No wind like the little Versus, rattly. And maybe it's unfair, I guess, that I've just got off a Versus, little 650 parallel twin and they're rattly and you're getting blown around. So such a smooth, smooth ride. I'm not feeling any divots or bumps or anything in the road. She's just cruising, well, so nicely. Mirrors, brilliant, I can't knock them. Gear change is flawless. My only moment was I'm getting out of the garage, I did feel a bit of weight. And again, I'm wondering if I'd have got off the trophy and then got on this, I would have noticed any difference. Maybe because I got off the little Versus, which is like, well, a fraction of the weight, really. Um, but, yeah, gear change, lovely. Clutch isn't heavy. I mean, unless you've recently had, like, a hydraulic clutch, then you are going to notice an old cable clutch. That lorry went all the way round. How strange. And now he's going to block the whole entire planet up. Oh, God. You've got to love them. Anyway, so where's this car going? He thinks, oh, he make his own lane up, will he? Yeah, so, oh, you want me to let you in there, do you? Yeah, well, well, there you go. Please, none is say thank you. It's fine. In your Ford Focus, it's brand new, 68. Um, let's just pay you the same courtesy, shall we? There we go, have that. 
rude. Anyway. I'm in fourth, I think. Let's just see. Oh yeah, loads of power there. Absolutely power. I was in fourth gear then, that just ploughed by them. Very nice. So verdict so far, and it's the first ride I've had of one of these. The screen is perfect height here. I mean, it does go down to here and I'm getting a little bit of wind in my face. Uh, about there's perfect for me. Um, speedo's good. I must admit, I've very got used to much of the old um, LCD ones. But I can see all my temperature gauge, fuel gauge, everything else here. Today's 13 degrees. Temperature's good. Over half a tank. I can see all that. Radio. Uh, here we go. What do I get? Uh, not a lot. And I can hear the radio. So, probably not going to be as good because the speakers are a lot smaller. And I can hear a mumble in the background, really. But I have got a full face helmet on today. So, yeah, let's just leave that off. I may have got that face helmet and I'll turn up loud and I might just get the old beats that I had before. No, enough of that. Right, I have brought a camera like I had in the Triumph Trophy, so I will be fitting it to this. Do a little video of that one. This is going to be a slightly different fit. The left hand pocket is full of the radio, and the right hand pocket has got an intercom. That's what a little dialy thing was, it's for intercom. And uh, well, the wife won't be getting on the back with me for a while. I'm not that she wants me babbling anyway, she leaves me babble. But I've looked at the one I'm buying and it looks, oh, I don't know, about 10 centimetres, no, not centimetres. It looks about 10 mil, and it looks like I've got enough in the pocket to be able to squeeze it there. Oh, this is, oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. I did say it's 119, 120 brake horsepower, um, but you, uh, oh, it feels lovely. I'm really impressed with the uh, delivery. It's not jerky at all. Gearing's very, very nice. So, they're right. I have to agree with what everybody said about the V4s on these. They're very smooth. Power delivery's there when you want it. Uh, third gear. Yeah, now I can see why they were so enthralled with these bikes. I mean... Yeah, I just went up to 6,000 revs then just to see. And yeah, it did. It pulled really well. You heard a bit of the roar of the engine there. Now, exhaust, as you know, I like changing them, and again, as I said, I mean, I could, what, whack off, I don't know, them exhausts have got to weigh five kilos each, so probably ten kilos exhaust there, and I could probably get some brought, which probably are down to like one and a half kilos each, so it'd take a little bit of weight off. The panniers, now, they fit very snugly on here. You know, I go back to the GS again, they, they just look horrible, and one of the um, panniers, They've got the exhaust in it, so I literally get a bottle of drink in there, and you can expand them, but they're useless. You have to go to the touring bikes, and a lot of them seem an add-on. The Triumph were nice, they had a little balance bit, but these fit... Fit? Ugh. These fit on very, very snugly. I don't want to take them off. And if you do take them off, yeah, there's a huge sort of like, I don't know, three inch by eight inch missing piece of plastic where it fits in. That looks very odd. There's no clip to go over it. Well, I haven't got one. So it looks really odd without the panniers on. So I am actually going to ride the bike continually with the panniers and back box. And again, uh, where's it going? And again, the... Uh, back box this is hardwired this one it has a brake light with a little lip spoiler so yeah the back box doesn't come off so the panniers and back box are going to stay i uh, normally take off the panniers i love having a back box you just stick your helmet in walk away job done but i'm gonna leave the panniers and the back box on this one because it looks ugly and i can't get the back box off anyway don't think you'll muck around with fuel efficiency they are very very good and we're a 29 litre tank you know oh, I assume I'm going to fill up every three weeks, you know. Some of the little bikes I've had before. Oh, God, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to go back. I had a quad bike, a uh, Dinley 450, and a little Quadzilla 250. Don't buy one of them. You just feel you're going to die. I do 50 mile an hour, and I had a huge Arctic lorry behind me. I was like, I'm going to die. It was like watching a mini Metro in the old days, this huge 
wall behind you moving faster than you were. The diddly was a bit mental. Get to 70 mile an hour and it does try and kill you. You have to pump the tyres up. Anyway, enough back quads. What I was getting to was that they have only like a five litre tank. <laughs> so you get like one trip a day and you have to fill up, you know, rubbish. But say 29 litres, wow. And this is Chelmsford really fudging up the whole entire planet again. They just love putting cones out. I think they're digging away. Chelmsford say, we're improving the roads. What they really mean is they're making it better for buses and they're going to screw you over for the cars. Because look, them cones over the right hand side there have been there for weeks and weeks. This road was lovely. Now look at it. It's an absolute standstill. And this is not rush hour. This is like 12 o'clock in the afternoon on the Thursday and it's just bedlam. Oh, they shut the fly over. And I'm babbling, sorry. My review of the very beautiful ST1300 Pan-European Honda 2003. Yummy, I have to say. Very good. First ride. I will take it for a long ride, and I suppose when the wife's knees better, I'll chuck her on the back. I want to get slapped in the back of the head. Well, I don't know if I'm making any silly comments, which I can't help. Anyway, very nice. First impressions. Very smooth. Gear change is fine. I believe they do excellent miles to the gallon as well. Very responsive. Brakes, uh, I think because the bloke put wax, bees wax everywhere, I think it might have got on the brakes. The first time I touched the brakes, not a lot happened. <laughs> this is ABS model as well. And there we go. Enough. Take care of yourselves on the road. Thank you so much for watching my little vlog about the old ST1300. And I can't help but babble about myself either lovely that's just lovely i had to you know the old uh oh, babbling take care of yourselves on the road mark savage here please like share and subscribe and i will keep making them tada now that's a nice wide gap in between there am i gonna go for it you fucking right i am Whee!